Hi, my name is Jim Swain. When people use the expression jumping jacks, they're referring to an exercise that was created by the United States Marines during World War II. But when magicians use the expression jumping jacks, it has a whole different meaning. They're referring to the four jacks in the deck of cards. Jack of clubs, the jack of hearts, the jack of spades, and the jack of diamonds. Those cards are able to do some amazing magic. Let me show you. First, let's make sure we have four jacks in this deck. I want to make sure that the jacks are not anywhere near the top or the bottom. There's the jack of clubs, 14th from the face. Next to it is the jack of diamonds, which would make it 15th from the face. And let's see, there's the jack of hearts which is 34th from the face, and last but not least, oh, we have the Jack of Spades, which happens to be right on the top of the deck. When that happens, we'll just cut it down like that, and give the cards a good mix. And just to keep things honest, we'll give them another cut like that. Now, in the act of doing that cutting and shuffling, I wanna make sure I didn't bring any of those Jacks back up to the top. Let's see, we have a king, a 10, another 10, which somebody put their name on, and an ace, which somebody put their name on. As magicians like to say, all we have are memories. And on the bottom, we have a five, and a queen, and a two, and a six, so no jacks. Okay, to find the jacks, I'm gonna give the cards a very unique looking little shuffle. It's called the weave. And as you can see, all the cards are perfectly weaved together, or woven together, excuse me. Now it's time to find the jumping jacks. I strike a dramatic pose. Jack of spades. Jack of hearts. Jack of diamonds. And the jack of clubs. Now, these jacks are not one-trick ponies. And what I mean by that is they can do some amazing magic. For this next part, I'm going to bring the cards a little closer to the camera. See if you can catch this. There are the jacks. I'm going to take them and cut them into the deck like that. One, two, three, and yet they jump right up to the top like that do it again, watch. We're going to cut them into the deck, watch. One, two, three, and yet they jump right up to the top. One last chance to catch me. There are the jacks. This time we leave them face up, and watch, they're just going to melt into the deck like that. Look at that. And no, they're not on the bottom. Ooh, somebody really signed that one. To bring this trick to a successful conclusion, I need to find those jacks. To do that, I'm going to play a little game of poker. Five card draw, nothing wild. Love the camera person, would you just say stop? Right there, okay. I'm going to deal from where my lovely camera person asked me to say stop. There will be four hands. And to keep everything on the up and up, I'll deal the cards with one hand. We have player one, player two, player three, and moi. I'm moi. Lovely camera person. Who should get the jacks? Player one, two, player three, or moi? Player three? You sure? You can change your mind. No, player three? Okay, player three. Here we go. Ready? One, two, and there's the jack of spades again. One, two, there's the jack of hearts. There's the Jack of Clubs. And last but not least, there's the Jack of Diamonds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Jumping Jacks. Thank you very much.